Welcome to the research vessel Falkor 2. We're here at Fair Shipyard. They've been building ships for 125 years. And we're working together to convert this ship into a world-class oceanographic research vessel. Come on, let me take you on a tour. There's a lot of great research ships out there. I mean, a lot. They're being built every day, but this one's unique. No research vessel has gone to sea with such amount of space available to scientists before. You know, this aft deck that we can configure in any way we want, putting science gear, equipment, robotic systems. It has subsea capabilities that you won't find in any ship. A 150 ton active heave compensating crane. That's huge. And we've created seven laboratories on board this vessel. We have a dirty wet lab, we have a hydro lab, we have a cold lab, we have a wet lab, we have a main lab, we have a seawater lab, we have a computer electronics lab, we have a mission control room, we have a conference room spaces. And that's what's on the inside. But what's outside is limitless. So it's this adaptability that we've learned is so important in space Every single scientist that we've ever worked with has said, oh, I wish you had more laboratory space. I wish your wet lab had more sinks. Oh, I wish you had more space on your aft deck. I don't think we're gonna hear those types of requests anymore because we've met them and more. This and this. So that's what I would rather focus on. Um, during this week, this point, that means that there are some amazing research ships sailing the world, some incredible ones that are being built today, but none have quite this amount of space. So we're really anticipating that the scientific community around the world, once they learn about this ship, and once we help educate them on the capabilities of this asset, this platform, that they're gonna come to us with some incredible ideas and new thinking about ways that they can study and explore uh, and, and potentially discover parts of the ocean that we never thought imaginable. So between this massive crane for, for subsea work that will have available to the scientists, to these two moon pools, to two over-the-side handling system for independent remotely operated vehicles, seven laboratories, over 200 square meters of laboratory space, the ability to stay out at sea for months and months, work in extreme environments, very, very stable, uh, probably will be one of the most stable platforms for research vessels um, anywhere. And then, of course, doubling the capacity of scientists that we can take to sea. I mean, that's really incredible right there in itself. It's, uh, it's really a pretty exciting time for all of us.